everybody, welcome back to my channel, Belinda with Love and Adventure. My name is Ann, and if you're new, thank you for coming on over. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. I definitely appreciate each and every one of you. All right, today, today is what's for dinner. All right, starting on our menu, menu plan. I'm gonna go ahead and read it just so everybody's on the same page. If you didn't see my meal plan for October, it is Croctober, yay. Okay, so we have crock pot chicken parmesan. We have cheeseburger soup. We have crock pot chicken and gravy, and then crock pot spaghetti and meatballs. So sometimes I don't go in specific orders. If you haven't already noticed that on my videos and on my channel, um, so tonight we're gonna do chicken and gravy over rice. So have my chicken right here. Let's go ahead and dump it in the crock pot. Now what we're gonna get, we're gonna use just glass jar gravy, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get some salt and pepper. I just realized my salt and pepper, I totally forgot to grab it. And I'm gonna grab some poultry seasoning as well. So that's what we're gonna use to season this up, guys. I don't know about y'all, but making dinner, 10 a.m. is making me a little hungry. It's making me hungry, so let's go ahead and do this. Can you guys see that? Okay, so I'm actually using um, chicken breast to do mine, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it in my crock pot. I'll show y'all this. Get it in my crock pot, and then I am going to be doing low for six hours because all of it's frozen, okay? We'll let all of it marinate together. And then if I need to add more gravy, I have packet gravy I can mix up on the stove and pour over top as well. And then at the end, when it's ready to come out, I'll also do my, um... now if you don't wanna do rice, which honestly, I just thought about this as I'm telling you guys, you can also use egg noodles. I think my kids would probably want egg noodles before they would do rice. But um, either way, you can do rice or egg noodles, but don't do it until your chicken is um, almost done and it's almost time to eat because you're just going to do that on your stove top. And you're just going to follow the directions on how to do your own rice or do what the bag states for any type of noodle you prefer to use if your kids don't eat rice like mine sometimes. But as for your crock pot, we are going to do low for six hours. And I'll show you that here in a second. And we're going to start it. So just so you do know that. That is how this is going down today. And then I also left my seasonings out just so um, once, if I have to add anything else or I break it apart, because obviously I'm gonna break it and shred it a little bit, um, I might need to add a little more something to it. So I leave everything out. This is gonna cook on my, um, my crock pot all day. And then most likely around probably 4, 45, 5 o'clock, I'll shred it up, see if I need to add anything else to it and then let it go. Caleb doesn't get home to about 5, 25, 30. And I'll start my stovetop process at that point and we'll pull it all together. Um, I try to put pictures of the meals in um, last week. So I haven't done a what's for dinner in a long time. And I was kind of getting my feet wet again. So it wasn't the best what's for dinner video, but I did verbalize how I did it and everything like that. Um, but this one, I will try to take a picture. I will do a review for you guys with the kids. Um, Everything last week turned out phenomenal. The pork chops were great. The kids just said they were a little hot. The chicken turned out amazing. I mean, I had none left. The chili, great. That was Trenton. I mean, he got home from school. He's like, I want a bowl. So the chili went well. Um, he actually I lost the footage, but he let me take a picture, and I lost the footage of the picture of that. But anyway, you guys can get the gist of it. It was chili with cheese and um, some sour cream on top. But anyway, so let's go ahead and get this started. I'll bring you guys back. We'll pull it all together 
and yeah, I'll show you what happens and I'll give you a review about our crock pot chicken and gravy. All right, guys, welcome back to what's for dinner. Okay, let's look at the chicken. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. And watching people's videos whenever I'm hungry just is not of any value because then I just want to eat more. Um, so this is what the chicken looks like. There you go. Okay. On the stove behind me, I have water boiling or starting to boil because I want to make, it was unanimous egg noodles. They do not want rice. So I have water boiling over here, right here. And so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let the water boil and I'll bring you guys back to pull all this together. All right, guys, there's Millie if you wanna see her. So I have the noodles in the pot boiling. I am making another pack of gravy just to thicken up what I already have. And I can thicken up the sauce once I can get the chicken out of the crock pot. I'll thicken that up as well. And that way we'll have a good amount of gravy to put over top of our meal. But um, I wanted to kind of give you guys an update. Um, and then obviously when I pull it together, y'all will get a picture at the end of this. But that's how this is coming together. Hey everybody, welcome back to Lust for Dinner. Today's recipe is a cheeseburger soup. So, never made it, it's new. Um, Gunnar actually picked it out, so I'm gonna try to make this. So, I'm gonna link it down below. Um, I will read everything that you need, and it is a lot of need. Okay, you're gonna need a half a pound of ground beef, four tablespoons of butter divided, three quarter cup of chopped onions, three quarter cups of shredded carrots, three quarter cups of diced celery, one teaspoon of dry basil, one teaspoon of dry parsley flakes, one and three quarter pounds or about four cups of peeled potatoes, three cups of chicken broth, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, two to four cups of shredded Velveeta, one and a half cups of whole milk, three quarter teaspoons of salt, a quarter to a half a teaspoon of pepper, and a half a cup of sour cream. Stupid question for everybody. How do you shred Velveeta cheese? Does it shred like normal? I mean, I don't know. I've never done this. Let's see. We're going to cut. Oh, yo. My burger is frying up. Um, well, I don't know if shredding is the right way to go about this. Can you shred? Oh, yeah. No, no, you really can't. That is making a hot mess, y'all. Okay, so plan B, <laughs> get it off my fingers. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna do this. So what I think I'm gonna do instead of shredding, I'm gonna cut it very tiny and we're gonna get all this in the crock pot. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so while the burger is going over there, what I've decided to do is dump and go. I don't know. I don't know. Let's do it, guys. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's add some, um, I don't have chicken broth. I have vegetable. Um, it sells three cups, so let's do it. There's my veggies. They look pretty. Actually, this is a whole thing. I don't know why I'm measuring it out. 
If I would use my brain and do the math. guys I have it all together in the crock pot I do not feel confident <laughs> I do feel confident I made a big mess I did I tried to clean it up so all you see are dirty dishes all right this I'm gonna start this so good luck right It will be done before six hours, but I'm doing it on six hours, um, only because we're going to eat around 5.30, so that gives it like 30 minutes if we don't eat exactly at 5.30. But let's see how this comes together. I just turned a regular, good gracious, that's heavy, turned a regular recipe into a um, crop pot recipe. We're going to see how it works, see if it thickens up. See if everything marinates together and hope for the best. All right, guys. So, we just finished dinner. I still have some finishing up. And it was so good. Next time, I would leave the celery out. And honestly, Caleb is right here. He's eating. I can't film him. That's right. It, it, yeah, the potatoes need to cook a little bit longer. But I don't consider this a cheeseburger uh, soup. It's very good. Okay, kids have food in their mouth. But... But it's not cheeseburgery. It's not cheeseburgery. Like I said. It tastes like cheesy potato soup with burger in it. Yes. Will we make it again? Oh yeah, I'd make it again. Um, I would do it completely different though. Oh, this is a what's for dinner video, but we're gonna pet Melly. She's playing there showing her stuff off. All right. So overall, five stars. Five out of five. Yeah. Stars. Yeah, they love it. I like it. I would rather have it on a colder day. I mean, being that it's like 81 degrees outside today. Yeah. Um, it would be a good winter soup, but I don't know that I would call it cheeseburger soup unless that's what it's supposed to be. I would call it cheesy potato soup. But guys, it cooked up perfect in the crock pot. Next time I would put it on high to get my potatoes done. That's the only thing I would change different. Um, Cheesy potato hamburger soup. Honestly, and next time I told him instead of burger, we could do bacon. Um, so anyway, this was a hit with the kids. This was a hit with Hubby and myself. Um, I only have two kids here right now. The other two are at friends' houses. But um, yeah, so we have enough for tomorrow. We have chicken left over from last night. That was great. So yeah, so stay tuned for the next crock pot meal, which... All right, guys, welcome back to us for dinner. Today is Thursday, and we are doing, I changed it up. We're doing pork tenderloin, so there you go. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use steak seasoning. I have no idea. We're just gonna put it on top. 
It's frozen, like rock solid here. Some salt. And some pepper. And then um, we're gonna turn it on. After we put the lid on, of course. I'm gonna put it on slow cook, but I'm gonna do it on high for um, five and a half hours. Cause that sucker is like, super frozen and it's super thick. So that is what's for dinner. And then I'll bring you back and we'll pull it all together. And we are gonna have a yummy, yummy dinner tonight. All right, welcome back to what's for dinner. So you guys know that I put the pork tenderloin in the crock pot and that, y'all, this is yummy. Mm -hmm. I topped it with the balsamic honey um, glaze. Y'all, that was so good. So how I made wow. my glaze, it was pretty much just balsamic vinegar. Yeah, I bought it with just pour some honey into it. Kind of let it kind of, what's the word I'm looking for when it, it kind of, not dilutes, but, I think that's a little Is it I don't know, but like I started with a cup of vinegar, but I ended up with like that much vinegar. I don't know, like it cooked down. I don't know what you call it. But anyway, and then I just did some canned green beans because we had something come up tonight and I wasn't trying to make homemade mashed potatoes like I wanted to make. And then I did applesauce on the side and that was dinner tonight because this pork, I don't do, you, do you think the pork's a staple? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, you got it. So I did one. so I did the pork tenderloin on um high for six hours because I had a huge pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. And all I did for that was salt and pepper and then steak seasoning. Mm -hmm. And then when we got back home, which was about literally six hours later because my pork was on warm, I did the glaze on the stove and let it cook down. And then I poured it on top after I shredded my pork a little bit and just let it sit in that. The longer it sits, the more tender it's getting, y'all. It is so flavorful. So anyway, that is what's for dinner on um, this Thursday. So there won't be a what's for dinner tomorrow because, um, yeah, I misplanned. We won't be I will put this out on Sunday to give you hopefully some great ideas.